Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,394, part two. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in regular Excel Magic Trick 1394, we have this formula set up to make various calculations. And one of the calculations was percent of parent total. Now, the percent of parent total calculation is taking the individual product amounts and comparing them against the manufacturer total. For this section, our denominator needs to always be this 47,000. But when we get down to the next manufacturer and the next set of products, we need as a denominator that 389,000 number. So the formula I did, F2 right here, is I used an array formula and is blank with match looking up true. Now the pattern that I noticed was that number right there that we're trying to get at was always sitting next to an empty cell. And escape our online Excel teammate Bill says it said, hey, there's another pattern. Guess what? In this column right here, we can pick out this number when there's text over here. Not only that, but the formula will be a non-array formula and won't require Control-Shift-Enter. And it will be a shorter formula. So our first goal in this column is I want to figure out the position in this list here of that item. Then when I jump down here, I need to figure out the position there. Now, if we're going to try and find text over here, since the text is different each time, we're going to start at the top with match function. And in the lookup value, we're going to use a wild card. Now, in double quotes, the wild card question mark, that means one character. If we use the wild card asterisk, that means zero or more characters. So when I put those two wild cards together in double quotes, it means please find one or more characters. Now, as I copy this down, comma, in the lookup array, I definitely want to look through all of here to find the position of that text item. But this range needs to be contracting or shrinking as I copy the formula down. So I'm going to double click the last cell reference, G5, and hit F4, comma. Now, for match type, look over here. If we're looking up one or more characters, well, there's duplicates in this column. So to always find the first one, we want to use exact match. It's program when it sees duplicates to only find the first one. Now, close parentheses, Control O Enter. That's got the wrong number format and come up to number formatting and use general or the keyboard control shift tilde grave accent. Now I'm going to copy this down. And notice 3, 2, 1, what does that mean? Well, as I'm copying down, if the range is shrinking, remember here, the 47,000 is in the third position. But when the formula gets down here, it's in the second position. Right here, it's in the first position. When it gets down to the new section, notice this, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's perfect as a relative position, F2. Now we're going to use the lookup function index. The array, those are always the items we want to look up and retrieve and bring back to the cell. We need this range, since we're always trying to look up those totals there, comma. We still need to, for the last cell reference in the range, F4. Now we have a contracting or shrinking range. Now I can simply come to the end. And for our denominator, Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. Look at that. Each one of these items right here are going to get the correct denominator. Now if we come down, we can see, sure enough, the lookup range, that's the blue range right here, has contracted or is shrinking, and 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the fourth item. The match range also is looking up one or more characters. It finds it in 1, 2, 3, 4. So index and match working together to get our denominator. F2, since we're trying to calculate percent of parent, now I simply take, hey, the individual amount is a relative cell reference. Division symbol, Control-Enter. Double click and send it down. Highlight this column right here. Right click, and I'm going to copy just the formatting using the mini toolbar format painter. Click in the top cell, 
And there we go. That is an amazing formula. Thanks to Bill Sizzes at YouTube. Always awesome to hang out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.